Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. My name is Jufo, and today I am going to show you how I put together this beautiful floral arrangement for the backdrop. My previous video had a balloon garland that I made for this same event, and you can go back and watch that if you're interested in making the whole set up today i'm showing you several flowers that i bought from the dollar tree i have roses and carnations and i'm going to put them together on a floral foam the floral foam helps you put the flowers insert the flowers easily and they stay in place i wrap the floral foam first with some yarn so it'll help me attach it to the backdrop i bought some clips from walmart that just clip onto the backdrop and i'm going to just twist this yarn onto the clips to make it stay in place so what you see me doing is just inserting flowers at a time my goal here is to make a diagonal floral arrangement so when i attach my foam to the backdrop then i have a sideways kind of diagonal floral arrangement one thing that helps with the foam being on a flat surface is that when you're inserting each of the floral stems you want to make sure that you're not going past that foam to the back because the 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 hard surface or the the table acts as my backdrop and that's what i'm using to just set up all the flowers i decided to make this floral arrangement by color in such a way that if i put a line diagonally and you'll see that towards the end if i put a line diagonally in the middle to divide the floral arrangement in half you'll notice that one side somewhat mirrors the other so I'm just inserting each of the flowers, making sure that I cover all of the floral foam. You notice on some, I have to cut the stem shorter. When I get the flowers from the Dollar Tree, they're all bunched up together. They're bunches of flowers, so you have to clip each one with some floral wire. So I... Put some of them in and I have to clip as well to make sure that they fit in right. I'm putting now the carnations. The carnations give it a little bit of a contrast. And as you can see, I'm making sure that one side goes with the other. And not only that, if I separate it in half, going from the top left of the screen to the bottom right, you'll notice that my diagonal flower arrangement mirrors each other. The carnations are being put in. I'm having to clip some of them to make sure that it fits. My goal here is that the floral arrangement looks somewhat like a hedge. When you trim your hedge, you notice all the hedge is even. Some floral arrangements, you have them in different directions as far as the length and height of the flowers as they stick out but with this one i'm trying to make it where they're all flush together that's the look i'm going for i'm starting now with a different uh, color rose and i'm just fitting that in at the very end i wanted this bright color to really stand out and I'm putting that at the end. I have to bend this one because we're at the point where you can't really see those flowers if they're just sticking out. So I'm folding it and you see here in just a few seconds how I bend the wire right there to make it really, as I put it in, then it sticks, it shows forward. So looking at it from this view, you can still see the rows. We continue to the other side. I'm using the same roses, bending it again and just fitting it to make it match the opposite side. This is a beautiful floral arrangement. 
Let me know in the comments below what your favorite flower is. I love peonies. I love working with peonies. I used to like roses quite a bit, but I just fell in love with peonies recently. As you can see, the foam, floral foam can be seen from the bottom and the top. So now what I try to do is put some flowers on the side. So when I attach this floral arrangement onto my backdrop, if someone walks in from the left or the right or someone who is even shorter than my backdrop looks up, up they're not going to see this foam floral foam that I used to attach. It's going to look as though the flowers are growing out of the backdrop and that's what I'm doing. Just filling. The good thing with these flowers is that they're, it doesn't take much to fill up the space you need. You can see I take two or three, put it in and it fits just fine. I'm cutting the stems even shorter than I've been cutting all the other ones. And it's working out just fine. I promise you, I did not make my nails to match the flowers. It looks as though I did, but I didn't. But it actually looks pleasant in the video, to me anyways. Filling in more of those spaces right there. Um, you can kind of see all that filled in. And I have a few more spots to fill in and we'll be all done. That's how short I'm cutting the flowers just to fill that space. Again, I'm showing you how I do that. And it took about two roses right there. I'm adjusting that one just to make it cover that space. And it does. I have another place to fill up right there. We'll work on that right now. Please let me know if there are other decor things you want me to record. I decorate for all types of events and I make floral arrangements. I do balloon garlands. I do drapes and all kinds of decor related things. I even make gift baskets as well. So please let me know what type of things you imagine creative wise and I'll bring it to reality through my videos that you watch. And here we have a few more spaces to fill just to make it look nice. I'm just arranging each of the flowers and filling it in. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like what you see down below. Subscribe as well. And continue to follow me for more videos. I'm again still working on getting the YouTube videos edited. And as you can see, they're not perfect. But hopefully you learned something today. Continue to follow me for more.